The Sahara Desert is a treasure trove for fossils. Let's explore some along with some other potentially mysterious discoveries. Number 10, giant catfish. In 2017, an ancient ancestor of the popular catfish was discovered in the Egyptian desert. Carmutus hedonensis is the name given to this new species, which is thought to have existed approximately 37 million years ago. This specimen would be at the upper end of the catfish size range, measuring roughly two meters or six and a half feet in length. Carmutus hedonensis is an interesting early branch of the catfish family tree, representing a completely new genus and species. John Lundberg of the Academy of Natural Sciences at Drexel University claims that the old fossil is actually more similar to the present catfish than one may think. Even though the fossil is relatively old in the way we ordinarily think of ages and millions of years, it is still essentially anatomically modern and directly comparable to living catfishes, said Lundberg. It's one of the best preserved and oldest of its family. Number 9. Enormous Croc Paleontologists identified the remnants of one of the largest crocodiles ever discovered in 2014. Known by the name Machimosaurus rex, this extinct animal was twice as large as any modern crocodile. It would have measured about 9.8 meters or 32 feet in length and weighed a minimum of 2,993 kilograms or 6,600 pounds. The fossil was buried at the border of the Sahara Desert in Tunisia, a top predator in the ocean that once divided Africa and Europe about 130 million years ago was probably the Machimosaurus rex. Federico Fonti of the University of Bologna a member of the team that made the find said the skull itself is as big as I am. The length of the skull alone exceeds five feet. What a huge crocodile. He was unquestionably at the top of the food chain because of his immense size and strength. This discovery is noteworthy in addition to its size since it was previously thought that these crocodiles went extinct approximately 150 million years ago during a huge extinction event that occurred between the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. The finding implies that the extinction event was not as extensive as previously believed by certain paleontologists. Number 8. Spinosaurus Fossil Within the scientific world, Spinosaurus is recognized as one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs that has ever existed. However, a massive fossil found in the Sahara Desert in 2014 has provided scientists with a previously unheard of glimpse into the monster. The 95 million year old bones supported the hypothesis that this is the earliest known swimming dinosaur. According to scientists, the creature could easily submerge itself because it had nostrils on top of its crocodilian head and flat paddle-like feet. The only known semi-aquatic dinosaur is Spinosaurus. Other ancient aquatic animals, such as the Plesiosaur and Mosasaur, were marine reptiles rather than dinosaurs. Number 7. Whales with Legs A paleontological site called Wadi al hitan or Whale Valley, is located in the El Fayum Governorate of Egypt, approximately 150 kilometers or 93 points two miles southwest of Cairo. Hundreds more incredible fossils were found nearby, and in 2005 it was inducted as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The exceptionally high concentration of excellent marine fossils in the valley gave rise to its name. The most significant finding at the site is thought to be the discovery of the Archaeoceti, an extinct whale suborder. These fossils tell the tale of how whales evolved from land-dwelling creatures to ocean-dwelling mammals, and they are an important piece in the evolution puzzle. In 1902, the first whale skeletons were found. Because it was hard to get to, the site didn't get much attention at first. When four-wheel drive cars were more widely accessible in the 1980s, it all changed. Number 6. Mystery Animal After its initial discovery in the 1850s, a mystery species that lived hundreds of millions of years ago was the subject of intense dispute among scientists for 150 years. Paleontologists were able to identify the strange creature in early 2019 thanks to the discovery of new, incredibly detailed fossils in Morocco, which put an end to the mystery. These organisms, called stylophorans, had a long arm protruding from their sides and resembled flat, armored wall decorations. Before, researchers were unsure about their place in the animal family tree. The animals were actually echinoderms, which are extinct relatives of sea cucumbers, feather stars, sea lilies, starfish, and sea urchins, according to the new study. The fossils provided unequivocal evidence for exceptionally preserved soft parts, both in the appendage and in the body of stylophorans, according to lead researcher Bertrand Lefebvre, making the findings conceivable. The fact that some of the 450 excavated stylophoran specimens featured intact soft tissues took researchers a while to 
realize. Despite the remarkable fossils being discovered in 2014 along the border of the Sahara Desert. Number five, lost fortresses. Without having to get out of their chairs, explorers may now look through the thickest jungle canopy and into the most hostile desert region thanks to satellite technology. The ruins of more than 100 strongholds once belonging to the Libyan Garamantes people were found by satellites in 2010. The oil business had thoroughly surveyed the region in an attempt to find drilling sites so archaeologists could examine their satellite images and look for the distinctive features of walls. Subsequently, local scholars were able to verify that the buildings were in fact constructed by the Garamantes. However, their missions were halted by the Libyan revolution that overthrew Colonel Gaddafi. The region the Garamantes lived in was already extremely arid at the time of their flourishing, which spanned from the 2nd century BC to the 7th century AD. They dug underground channels that brought water from old reservoirs to cultivate their property. The crops wilted and the remnants of the fortifications and settlements were covered up by the Sahara when this water supply dried up. Number four, craters. Meteorites and other space rocks have always rained down on Earth. Most just leave a light track across the sky as they burn up in the atmosphere without causing any damage. Others hit the ground and cause terrible damage. The majority of these impacts occurred in the distant past, so the craters they left behind are generally hidden by plant growth or erosion. Still visible though are the scars in desert areas. The site of an iron meteorite strike that occurred approximately 5,000 years ago is still visible marked by the 45 meter wide or 148 foot camel crater in southwest Egypt. But meteorite craters are not the only places to find them. Fragments of the meteorite itself have been found around the camel crater, where the impact broke it and dispersed it across the sand. This is not a unique finding. The Sahara has produced nearly one fifth of all retrieved meteorites. This is due to the fact that meteorites stand out on the sand and are frequently ready to be picked up. There's nowhere better to go meteorite hunting other than the Antarctic snows. Number three, the Nabta stones. Life clings to surfaces in a desert wherever there is water. 9,000 to 6,000 years ago, when people lived close to Nabta Playa in southern Egypt, the region experienced yearly floods, which resulted in the creation of a lake. Tribes from the Neolithic era arrived to water and feed their animals. These people not only made it through there, but they also established a culture of selflessness. Goats, sheep, and cows have all been discovered there, interred ceremonially. Large rock slabs were arranged in a circle by the Nabta people around 6,000 years ago, with more rock slabs extending outwards. This stone circle is said to be the oldest known astronomically aligned construction existing a millennium before Stonehenge. The precise meaning of the circle is still up for question, but according to one researcher, it corresponds with Orion's belt's position as it would have appeared in the sky 6,000 years ago. Number two, a lost river. There hasn't always been a Sahara desert. The Boundaries of the sand have moved over millions of years due to changes in climate. Scientists are looking into the history of the Sahara in the same way that they are looking for prehistoric signs of water on Mars. According to research, the Sahara supplied water for what was once the 12th largest drainage basin in the world. When an underwater canyon off the coast of Mauritania was found, it was revealed that the river had left behind remnants of its course. River sediments also appeared in unanticipated locations. A satellite provided the last word on the existence of a forgotten River. The Tom and Rosset River is the current name for the vanished river, and studies are ongoing to learn more about a body of water that may have dried up as recently as 5,000 years ago. Number one, whales. Under the Sahara, more than only rivers have vanished. What was once an ocean has dried up to become one of the driest places on Earth over geological time. There is evidence of the lost Tethys Ocean in Egypt's Wadi al hitan A place called Whale Valley is among the best, albeit improbable, places to find whale fossils. These fossils shed light on the evolution of whales from animals that lived on land to those that lived their whole lives at sea. Their old abode became land when the Earth's crust lifted. Paleontologists are currently studying the skeletons which which measure 15 meters or 50 feet in length, as well as the animals they coexisted with in the sea. The teeth of enormous and deadly sharks have been discovered next to the whale bones. That's our list. Thanks so much for watching. Give us a follow if you'd like to keep exploring the world with us. I've been your host, Yusuf, and I hope you have a fantastic day.